what we talk about, is it a VNA or not? So VNA still seems to be the kind of the, uh, the, the cornerstone for when we talk about enterprise imaging. I mean, it really, I think it, re it was something that uh, shifted our market. Um, you know, what, for those of us who've been around for you know, years of doing PACs, you know, VNA really kind of changed the conversation a little bit, uh, significantly, I should say. Um, I think that, you know, what is a VNA? It's, it's, a, it's a piece of a bigger puzzle um, that we're trying to, 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 to solve, which is how do we manage unstructured data? How do we manage image objects in a way that's intelligent, that, is, that follows, you know, all of the requirements we have in our enterprise and solve the problems that we have? You can call it whatever you want. Um, you know, the original term, I think, um, uh, played a role, uh, but really what it comes down to is what are we trying to do? What are we trying to do as an organization? What are we trying to achieve? And, and I, I sit in a lot of different places and I have the opportunity to, to fly around the country quite a bit. And everyone I talk to really has a different idea. When they say we're doing enterprise imaging, we're doing enterprise packs, uh, or we want to install or implement a VNA. Um, once you start to get past those first couple of statements, you start to ask them really what they're trying to achieve and you get into some of the questions around their organization, the questions around their architecture, questions around how they're looking to expand their services or grow. Everyone's doing it a little bit differently. So that to me um, really should be the question. Is not, is it a V or or, is it a V and A or not, but rather um, does what we're looking at solve the problems that we have as an organization? Yeah. No, I think that's a great point. You know, a lot of times when we're talking to prospects or customers or whoever it may be about the days, it's, you know, it's, it's very quickly. The, the short conversation is about archiving. So if you look at the true sense of the word, the vendor neutral archive, you know, archive is, is an important piece, but that's the short part of the conversation. You know, most of the time when we really talk with our customers and try to understand what they're trying to accomplish, it's about how do I not only consolidate the storage of this, but how do I now communicate and exchange it and image enable right. and EMR and you know, enable access and referring positions and share the data and, and all that kind of thing. And you know, I think I think when you get to that point, you know, you kind of grow out of the acronym VNA. And, and I think that's probably also some of the, in my opinion, that's probably some of the source to the confusion around the acronym VNA. It's because people, you know, customers yeah. are asking for, I need a VNA, but really they're like, it's, it's the closest term they have to that, maybe, but what they really need is so much broader than just archive. It's all the other things that matter, right? I mean, everyone archives, everyone's been able to archive forever. Um, so it's, that's not the, the challenge that we're having. The challenge is intelligent management of that data and allowing us to do things with it that are nuanced enough to solve departmental problems, but are, are powerful enough to solve enterprise level problems. Yeah. Yeah, very good.